I want to see this. I know, I know you guys said it was useless, and it probably is. But, I just want to see it. Let's burn some rats. Wait, how did... Right, do I have to, like, lock on to someone, or...? Is it just because these enemies are dying so quickly? Well, the rats, they're not enemies per se. I did hold. Oh, ho, 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 ha, 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 ha. Edges! Okay. Well, I feel like that accomplished a lot. That would have been a perfect spot to put loots. Just saying. Hello? Oh, you know what, Derminator? I didn't because I'm a dingus. I didn't realize I had to equip it. I don't know why I assumed it would just, like, uh, add on to the existing skill. Well, we're probably not going to use it, so let's just put it there and see. I just want to see what it looks like. Now, we got up here and there's no loot, so that's disappointing. This is a woman again. does, Pagan. I definitely am sort of getting that. That's... And I like it. There have definitely been a lot of instances in this game where we've sort of drawn parallels between this and, uh... Quest items. And Dark Souls. I was looking for enhanced... Oh, here we go. something across the floor, or dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. I love rat roast! Lord, I thought that was a person at first. Looks like a laboratory. Pretty well equipped, too. I never did like rats, not because of their obscene tales, but rather on account of their lively, disturbing intelligence. They are always listening when a man believes he is talking only to himself, and what's worse, they seem to understand. A few days ago, I caught myself talking to one of them, a particularly large black male with a torn-off ear. At first, I was overcome by panic. 
Was this a first manifestation of the illness? Of course, that was impossible, for I had fortified my immunity with powerful spells. Upon further consideration, I concluded it was an altogether natural reflex, one even the most learned among us finds hard to restrain. We mages like to be listened to. Speaking of company, I have none, besides the Black Rat, and cannot hope for better. Vizarat avoids the laboratory and has expressed his desire for his daughter to steer clear of me as well. At first, I thought he feared a moral scandal, which would be risible to the extreme, but he explained the true reason in due course. It seems Annabelle has always possessed a fragile psychic constitution. Observing the ill might throw her into foul humors. The peasant taking part in the study have stopped speaking to me. I don't know what they believe this little act of defiance will serve. It does me no harm. They made for lousy conversation partners. There remains, of course, the woman. But as for her, I try to limit my contact. Day 362. My black rat has died. Today I found him curled up in his cage. I suspected he had become infected or on accident, but during the autopsy I did not uncover any signs of illness. He was also perfectly well fed. Strange. From a medical point of view, his death remains unexplained, something which I must admit irritates the scholar in me. But, as mentioned previously, I'm not particularly fond of rats. Experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge. Why did you leave? You claim to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I've seen no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? Don't be afraid. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. It's all swampland. My family and I were hid in the Major's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who lived here, who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. It's our swamp. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. That's true. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich. Believe we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. You give her, like, cyanide? What happened then? Fear. Terrible fear. I feared the men who approached, but I also feared the potion drinking it. Didn't trust the mage. In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and Your beloved failed to save you. 
Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. Before I later awoke, I was alone. It was dark. Only there were rats everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why oh can't Lord. I leave this place? Oh! Jesus! The island's other specters. I was really afraid that's no, where they were going with that. The others, they flee when they see me. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. You're different. You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man looked like a monster had attacked him recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You ought to be my savior, not my tormentor. A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it. But who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Grail. No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. Your beloved, who is he? A noble son? Well, who wouldn't? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Hmm. Said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? You must have misheard. I don't think so. I... I don't know anymore. It's all a nightmare to me. As I see it, you are the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their horrors aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started <laughs> Thanks, Arnick. as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the iron, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. No, probably because you got it eaten be alive. The, land, the base of the curse, that is. If so, forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest, should lift it. I loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him, he must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Really hope I can help. Need to look around first. Whatever for? 